solve x squared times y double prime minus 3x times y prime minus 9y equals 0. This is an example of a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. We know that because here the power of x is 2, and it matches the order of the derivative. Here the power of x is 1, and it matches the order of the derivative. And then here you can think of the power of x as being 0, and y is actually the 0th derivative of itself. Okay, solution. So we start solving Cauchy-Euler differential equations by letting y be equal to x to a power. Then we differentiate this, plug it into our differential equation, and solve for m. So y prime, so we'll use the power rule, we'll put the m in the front, so we get m x to the m minus 1, we just subtract 1. Then we have a second derivative in this problem, so we have to do it again. So y double prime, and you put the m minus 1 in the front, so m minus 1, m, then you subtract 1, so you get x to the m minus 2. Good stuff. So now all we have to do is plug everything into the DE. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have x squared and then y double prime. That's this stuff here, so I'm going to write it again over here. So m minus 1, m, x to the m minus 2, minus 3, x, and then y prime. That's this one. So m x to the m minus 1, and then minus 9y, and y is just x to the m, and this is equal to 0. So every time you're solving Cauchy-Euler differential equations and you get to this step, what you do next is you group the x's together. So here we have x squared, here we have x to the m minus 2. When you multiply these, you add the exponents. So 2 plus m minus 2 is just m. So we have m minus 1 times m, times x to the m. Same thing here, it's 1 plus m minus 1. That's x to the m. So minus 3m x to the m, and then minus 9x to the m. And this is all equal to 0. Then what you do is you factor out the x to the m. So x to the m. And this becomes m minus 1, m, minus 3m, minus 9 and that's equal to zero. Now you can divide both sides by x to the m. So if we divide by x to the m, these cancel, and then zero over x to the m is zero. So we get m minus one times m, then minus three m minus nine, and that's equal to zero. We can distribute the m, so we get m squared minus m minus 3m, minus 9, and that's equal to 0. Good stuff. Let's see, we can combine like terms now. So m squared minus 4m, minus 9, and that's equal to 0. So now we have a quadratic equation that we have to solve. I guess we could use the quadratic formula. Um, let's complete the square, that might be easier. So to complete the square, uh, first maybe we can add the 9 to the right-hand side. So we have m squared minus 4m equals 9. Then what you do um, is you take the coefficient of m, divide it by 2, and square it, right? So negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So you add 4 to both sides. So again, negative, negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. And when you square that, you get 4. So we'll add 4 to both sides. So we get m squared minus 4m plus 4 equals 13. And this is called a perfect square trinomial, and it always factors. You just take this number and divide it by 2, and then you can keep the sign always, every single time, right? And this is equal to 13. To get rid of the 2, we take the square root. So we get m minus 2 equals, and when you take the square root of a variable squared, you always get a plus or minus finish, you just add 2. So you get 2 plus or minus square root of 13. So we have distinct real roots, okay? So whenever we have distinct real roots and a Cauchy-Euler differential equation, the formula is C1 x to the m1 plus C2 x to the m2. 
So y is equal to c1. And then m1 is, I guess, 2 plus square root of 13. You could use the minus 1 as well. I'll just use the, two, the, two, the plus first. Plus c2. Whoops, I forgot the x. <laughs> That's not good. And then x to the 2 minus square root of 13. Right? So that would be, that would be your, final, your final answer. Right? So let me write it again up here. It would be c1, x to the 2 plus square root of 13 plus c2, x to the 2 minus square root of 13.